The symposium has been called Building Relationships and Expanding Opportunities. And that really is the key for any type of business relationship, but it really is the key for professional services because these opportunities don't generally go through procurement channels. You know, I often say publicly, that it's, it's, you know, it's kind of become a modern day Jim Crow on a lot of college campuses, where if you're in catering or construction, janitorial services, the things that we all did in slavery, you know, cleaning up, building the buildings, cooking the food, you know, black and brown people are welcome in that part of the spend. When it comes to professional services, legal services, financial services, consulting, all those types of areas where people can really create real wealth and create real job growth, you know, technology, et cetera, we've been left out of. There's an enormous amount of talent that is seeking opportunity. And way too often people assume that because people have not necessarily had opportunity to that moment, that the talent, capacity, expertise, and so on is not there. Uh, we have seen over and over again, uh, and time after time, with everything we've done, that that is a totally false assumption. What this university is doing is unprecedented. And this idea of an elite institution, an amazing research and academic institution, bringing in fantastic professionals <laughs> to help them grow and to help them prosper. Um, unfortunately, you can probably count on one hand, if that, uh, the number of universities around the nation who have this kind of long-term commitment and not just talk, but action. If you're truly trying to get the best firms in the marketplace, you really have to look with a broad lens. And you should consider not only the majority firms and actually minority and women within those majority firms, but you should also look at the minority and women-owned businesses. Even in large, successful, diversity-aware law firms, women and lawyers of color, including partners, are all too often invisible, invisible to firm clients and potential clients, and to our white male colleagues, who are the most frequent referral sources of business. This program endeavors to combat that isolation and invisibility so that we can compete for business opportunities on a more level playing field and it works. This symposium has achieved excellent results in asset management in that two firms every year have been hired, so now there's 12 asset management firms. To give minority professionals access to relationships they typically get, wouldn't get from their own networks is critically important to our success. The fact that University of Chicago provides a forum where firms can come in, present their skills, and hear what the needs are of the university. That's very helpful to us in terms of growing our business. We've situated the room so that they are structured boardroom style. It's everyone sitting around the table, having open discussions about what the university's needs are, what the firm's capabilities are. It's to the point, we do 45 minutes with every firm, um, it's very productive for us. I basically met with the IT procurement team. These are the decision makers who actually have the requirements with them. This was a smaller group who knew what I do. What's most helpful to us is when somebody talks about their individual expertise and how they approach their work because the most important part about this symposium is the opportunity to get a feel and a comfort level for the people that you may be calling to hire. These types of events are really important because we may not in our day-to-day -day business come across some of these smaller firms or minority or women-owned business firms that don't play a part in the lending space. I don't think there's any other university endowment that puts together a program of this magnitude where, you know, not only are the heads of the university there, but all of the key decision makers. It is not just a matter of us making opportunities available for you, it's a matter of you making opportunity available uh, for us. We're a big organization, we have a lot of contracts, and it's absolutely critical because of who we aspire to be that we are here with you today uh, because you have talent, you have expertise, you have ability, and what we want to do is find the right match.